hear ya, I hear ya, I see ya I know where you're going Because I'm following you Yeah <laughs> Oh, Welcome to Lines of Tape, the podcast of the name that I just said. My name's Johnny Pemberton, and I'm wrong in the head. I'm chewing on a windowsill covered in lead. It's a daddy's big red truck, so bumpy you gonna throw up. So put your hands on the branch and come up to the executive buffet. My guest is Whitmer Thomas, musician, comedian, traveler, documentarian, and tape splice expert. Please enjoy it here on Live Tape with Johnny Pemberton, the podcast of the name I just said. Also, please make a note, we have a Patreon account. It's patreon.com slash live to tape for extra weekly goodies. Also, please be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast wherever your best podcasts are given to you for free. Free, 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 free. One second, he's saying one. Hey, Rocker. Hey. Hey, baby. What's up? What's up, baby? How are you? Good man, how are you? Oh wow, what's what's that? What's that filter? Uh, I don't know. A guy who looks like he does porn. I think it looks to me like Jason Statham, actually. Yeah, it does actually. Like Here, Jason, Jason S. How does this work on your computer? A uh, buddy showed me how to um, how to put uh, Snapchat filters over it. So yes, how do you, you do can. it? Tell. It's can you use it? Is it's it called, trade secret? No, it's called Snap Cam. <laughs> Snap Cam. So yesterday, and then you change your settings in Zoom, uh-huh. where it says like pref, like audio, video, or whatever it is, to um, Snap Cam, and then you can use the filters. And so I had a meeting, and I did the baby. I answered uh-huh. it the baby, and uh, they didn't laugh or anything. What kind of meeting was it that doesn't laugh at that? Mm. People are really disturbed a lot of the times by face filters. Really? Yeah, like. Who are these people? <laughs> Rod, Rod, my friend Rod. Rod, okay, I can see Rod being a bit disturbed by it. Yeah. What have you been doing? You know, all kinds of stuff. Can you hear this? Ready? Yeah. Hear that? Crawling my skin. Yeah. So I would say, like, hear that song real quick. Cool. There's not a lot of precedent for these things, is there? This is something where it's like we can do whatever we want, kind of. Yeah, and I think people have sort of. Can you hear me? Is it? Did I create a weird thing now? I do hear you good, actually. I hear you pretty damn good. Okay. Do you not hear yourself very well? I just hear crackling. Uh, from me? Do you hear? It's, do you, it's from me. Okay. But it's because I'm recording. On a, well, I don't think that mic is working. The uh, mic, that mic. Well, it's recording on my garage band. So okay, maybe so I, that maybe mic's I, recording on garage band, but your, your other audio that I'm hearing is recording on your computer mic. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I know um, what I should do here. I'll just record, mm-hmm. record with. No input. With no input? Yeah. Oh, you can also do this thing where it makes your face look. You know what this makes your skin look better? <laughs> look at that. Touch uh, my think appearance. You can do that on, on Zoom? Yeah, see, watch. Look at my face right now. Ready? And mm-hmm. doop. I'm all oh, smoothed oh. out. That's it's cool. Touch up my appearance settings. 
I like it. I, I like. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I like all this stuff. You excited about all these maybe virtual concerts coming to us? <laughs> it's gonna be great, right? All these virtual concerts that we can like see in our. We can see like maybe John Legend in his Did, living room performing. Have you watched any of these? I have, and I just heard one. I got an invite for one of them recently, like today, minutes ago, and I just can't help but feel like this is like the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dude. It just feels like, <sighs> like it's not for the people watching. It feels like it's for the people performing. And even yeah. then, it's... It's one of those things where it's almost like, uh, you know, when you get some, some Greenpeace person corners you at a grocery store, yeah. it's like a thing where everyone involved is uncomfortable, it seems like maybe. Yeah, it is kind of uncomfortable. I mean, have you done any of the shows? I've done two, sh two shows, I think, maybe only one, sh one or two shows, yeah. It was, uh, I mean, it was, it was kind of fun because I just sort of, um, well, I did one show it was actually fun because I just read from a catalog. I read from 32 Bar Blues, oh, yeah. <laughs> which was really fun. It wasn't really a show. It was more like a piece of performance art. But I think like that, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I think about it at all in general. But I do think the one, I do think it ends up being video art before it's anything. Because yeah. it can't really be. I mean, I don't know. I did one where I just played any song that people asked me to play for charity. That makes sense. So that sounds about right. So if John Legend was like, tell me any song to play and I'll play it, that would be, I would watch that. Yeah, maybe like play a Nirvana song possibly. Right, like John, have you ever seen John Bryan at the Largo? I haven't, no, but I've always wanted to. He does that. Yeah, he does like, he's a real, uh, he's a real special guy. He can play anything, right? He's a real, he's a mu musical, he dances. Yeah, yeah. He can dance about, no problem. Um, look what I've gotten into, this flip camera that I found. Oh, you found it. It's wow. my old flip camera. It has my first time ever doing holy fuck. Holy fuck free comedy. Yeah. And boy, is it bad. It's like not. Oh. And I'm bombing. <laughs> when was this, you think? Probably about seven years ago, maybe? Six years ago? No, it was in 2011. Wow. Okay. That was a long time. I didn't think it was that long ago, man. Yeah. It's weird how I, I keep saying something was uh, five or six years ago when it was way longer. That's like my go-to. Oh, it was about five or six years ago. Yeah. I wonder how much longer I'm going to keep doing that before it starts to be like, oh, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> that was, you know, I just gonna, am I gonna, just going to jump? Am I going to keep saying five or 10 years ago? I, I think that means we've uh, been in LA for so long that everything is blurred together. We've had all the experiences. Yeah. That is a real thing about LA, evidently, is that it, um, because of the climate, it gives you, it, it makes it very difficult to tell time. Yeah. Because you don't have like these seasonal, I mean, obviously we have seasons, but they don't have like these big like, oh, it's, it's all white out or it's all not. Yeah, well, out. do you remember like three years ago where it rained for like two months in LA? That was that three years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like Honestly, I don't really, no, I don't really, I, I can't, no. <laughs> I have a lot of, I have a lot of really detailed memories from that time. And I think it was because the weather. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, I guess if I were to figure out what year that was, maybe what I was doing at the time, maybe I'd be able to remember, remember it better. Yeah. Maybe I was out of town. Yeah. Could have been. been. On Loke. Have you been um, on Loke? Dude, nothing beats being on Loke. Oh yeah. On Loke, baby. Yeah. Ooh. This is reggae. I don't even know what this is. This is a, this is a mashup. Hey now. They rock. I've just decided Lincoln Park is really good. They're great. I mean, you gotta understand. Chester has so much pain. He's gotta be good. Yeah. Yeah. What a, um. What have you been, uh, I see you drinking water out of a the old pickle jar. Yeah, Bubby's. Yeah, Bubby's. Uh, we just, is that bread and butter? Oh, kosher dill, okay. Yeah, yeah. What made I you love go for my, the... I love my Bubby's. <laughs> Me too. I eat I a thought, lot of them. I only bought the Bubby's pickles because it's called Bubby's. I thought it was funny. And I wanted mm. the jar afterwards because I say to my roommate, don't touch my Bubby's. Well, so that don't, makes sense. Don't touch, say, don't touch my bubbies. Don't touch my bubbies. Don't wash the bubbies glass. If you see my bubbies sitting on the counter, don't touch my bubbies. 
If you see my bobby sitting on the counter, don't touch my bobbies. Yeah. Yeah. But they're also really, really good pickles. Yeah, they are. I've been they're really fucking... into pickles. I Me too. Lockdown. Have you made any pickles? No. Have you thought about it? Or maybe making something pickled at all, like sauerkraut or kimchi? Nope. Why not? Nope. Why haven't you thought about it? I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> Tell me why. Let's get down to it. Why I'm don't just you? like in this quarantine, I realized how I have no, I'm not curious at all about uh, food or. What do you mean curious about food? I don't like, understand that. You have like, you have a real curiosity about uh, how things change and like the plants and how they can grow and how they, you put something in a place, you do an experiment. That's, you like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I guess so. I think it's more, I'm just interested in um, watching stuff change. Not so much about yeah. like, yeah. Like it's, when something is steaming, like a pile of wood is steaming, I'm like, oh, whoa. <laughs> I get really excited. <laughs> I yeah, get like I will audibly go, oh my god! Yeah, so I've I I've just like my roommate every day. She looks at a new recipe and figures out if we have the ingredients to mm -hmm. cook it. And I'm just like, no. Nah, so what are you living off of then? Uh, you know, I eat like a yogurt, an apple, dinner time. Usually, she makes dinner. Okay, so easy. basically, like, you're living off someone else <laughs> taking care of shit. <laughs> I get it. You can say it. it's fine. <laughs> or like, I uh, make cheeseburgers and stuff. She's vegan, so she's not like eating uh, the same shit as I do. I when get I want to have fun, you know, yeah. I'll get buffalo wings. Oh, where are you getting buffalo wings from? I went, went one time and I got them from Hot Wing Cafe, and then I felt like Ooh. I was sick. I like convinced myself that I was ill. You mean COVID ill? Yeah. Okay. Do you think you got it or no? No, I think I had it. I think I started it, in fact. Yeah, we talked about this, actually, because you got it way before I, mean, I was sick. And I was sick early on. I was sick, like, end of January. And you were oh, sick, yeah. like, middle January? Yeah, early, middle January. I was sick for two weeks, sicker than I've ever been in my whole life with all mm -hmm. the exact symptoms. Of, of, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's so hard to know what's, what the deal is. I mean, I guess you won't know until you get the antibody test. Right. I mean, I have no, I feel great now, but. Me too. feel great, but I felt like trash for a month. Yeah. Well, two weeks, I felt like I was taking two naps a day just to even get through the day. Yeah, same. Because so I was like, oh, God, this freaking dog's going nuts. We got doorbells ringing and stuff, deliveries. Do you guys get uh, your groceries delivered or do you go? We may get them delivered, yeah. I think you should if you can. Maybe I'll do that today. How long yeah. does it take? Well, it just depends. I mean, Britt pretty much takes care of it. She's, she's the one who's on it because she like, likes to figure out how, the, uh, how it works, like, like the yeah. windows of time. And all this. It's kind of complicated, actually. Yeah. You have to like um, order it. You have to click through the process and you have to make sure you do it at the right time. And then you might not get everything. And it's also, it's just, it's convoluted. It's convoluted, yeah. You're yeah, right. it's difficult. Um, I want to have some wings, though. I want to get the antibody test so I can just get out, go out and have wings. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to eat, like, so fucking shit. Like, you know, this, like, this lockdown has made me learn that uh, I don't need any of the stuff that I think I need to do all the time. Like, what do you mean? I don't need to go have buffalo wings every week with all my <laughs> friends. Yeah. I don't need, like... I can actually eat at home as much as – not really. It's just like I'm stuck at home all the time. So. Yeah. It's yeah. also – yeah, it's like – It definitely makes you appreciate lots of things. For sure. Yeah, I appreciate a lot of stuff, but also at the same time, I wish that uh, more things would stay this way, but they're not going to probably. Right. It also makes you go, oh, wait, so we could do this? Like the yeah. government can <laughs> make this happen. Yeah. <laughs> We can do it, and it's probably going to be – I don't know. I, I, I wonder how bad it – if it's going to be really bad once everything gets lifted. It's going to be like, oh, pollution is going to go 10 times as bad because everyone's going to be like, yes! Yeah, can, or maybe it's like a Thanos thing to where we've, we've – corona has fixed global warming. It might have, but that would have to be – God, it has to be pretty significant. Yeah. I think it's not going to be long enough to have fixed it. There won't be oh. enough deaths. What about all these rumors? You know, like, 
So every day someone texts me a new thing of like, if you go outside right now, you get a $4,000 fine or whatever it is. Do you, you see these? I don't get anything cool like this. I wish I got like, I got one thing. A friend of mine sent me a, a one minute long audio clip of, of a computer going, I'll play it for you right now. This is actually pretty funny. This, I, I, you know, I thought this is actually pretty funny. <laughs> this is very much like a dad joke type thing, but I thought it was, I thought it was, you know, pretty good here. I'm going to bring it up here on the, uh, my computer here. Here we go. On my computer phone. An individual who had tested positive for an individual who has tested positive for COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus, has identified you as a close contact. It is imperative that you promptly take the following actions to protect your health and the health of others. Please self-isolate immediately in your home. Limit your contact with other members of your household as much as possible. Do not leave your home under any circumstances. If you are showing symptoms such as sore throat, cough, fever, body aches, shortness of breath, Please call 811 to report your symptoms. You are especially at risk because you have a tiny wiener. It is so small and therefore you will become much sicker than an individual who had all, oh, let's say, even an average size or slightly below average size weenie because your weenie is so tiny. The CDC is reporting nearly a 100% death rate for people like you who have small wieners. This is especially troublesome for you because your weenie is the smallest weenie in the whole world. You have a tiny wiener. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. I like uh, how long it takes to get to the joke. I like the wiener. Saying wiener yeah. is really wiener, funny. Wiener, wiener, <laughs> wiener, wiener. That is the extent of warnings I've, uh, I've been, been sent by anyone. Well, like, so the other day a, a girl tweeted, um, heads up, everyone, don't drive anywhere because the cops will pull you over and give you a $400 ticket. Hmm. And uh, then... People were like, that's not true. And then yeah, it's not true. LA, <laughs> California, whatever. Cal California was like, the California Twitter was like, this isn't true. Where are you getting this information? And it was just, she just made it up just to get like retweets. Yeah. So a lot of people are doing that kind of shit right now. I kind of like that sort of stuff. Also, it means to me that uh, what's the saying, you know, um, I don't know, separate a fool from their money kind of thing where. Yeah. If you're getting fooled by anything like that, like someone early on, like maybe um, a month ago or something, showed me this recording that they had, someone had sent them of a girl saying, my cousin who works for the CDC said this is going to like, this is fucking bogus. But he was passing it around like, dude, dude, check this out. Yeah. Dude, check this out. Like, this is not, this is no way in hell this is true. Yeah, a bunch of assholes. A bunch of old hags. Assholes. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing for fun? Well, um, I don't know. It kind, of, it's kind of changes all the time, really, you know. I've been um, going outside a bunch doing gardening stuff, but sometimes that doesn't feel so much fun as like a thing, like a, like a weird compulsion I have Yeah. to do all these things that take are going to take so much time, <laughs> like all this manual labor that's completely unnecessary that I'm just like, I got I to gotta dig this hole and put this cactus in this <laughs> hole or some shit. <laughs> Stuff like that. I guess I've been doing that. I've been, um, I don't know. I've been riding my bike a little bit. I've been uh, doing a little bit of um, watching things. I've been drinking beers. I don't even know, man. I mean, I've been eating a lot of food. I've been exercising a lot. Yeah, me too. A lot of exercising. I can do a lot of pull-ups now. I couldn't do this many pull-ups before. I was thinking of installing a pull-up bar. Oh, I'm telling you. You know, you can do all the push-ups you want, but when you get that pull-up bar, that's when you go to the next level. It's fun to do pull-ups. It's it like is. a fun challenge. You know, I don't like any exercise where I have to get on the ground. I've, I've discovered that. So what exercises do you do then? Well, I bought a jump rope, so I'm learning how oh. to jump rope because I've never been, like, good at it. I can only do it for, like, 20 seconds at a time, and then I, I, uh... I get all tangled up. Yeah, I was into that for a while, but I found it, I fucked up my knee pretty bad. Oh. I fucked up some part of my leg. I don't know how, but I had to stop. Even though I really liked it. I was doing it for about a few weeks. Oh, really? That shit's Damn. good for your heart. You know what it also does? It makes your shoulders. It's good for your shoulders. Because you oh, do cool. this. So, like, it does your shoulder muscles. Yeah. Get those delts popping. Yeah, man. Uh, I've been making music. I've been a lot of music. I, I came out with a viral hit. A viral hit? How yeah, do I like see it? it's on Twitter and really, 
uh, a song called Big Baby. Oh, I where... think I, is this the one where you sing as the baby? Yeah, yeah. Nice. And I recorded that song in like an hour and... Should I play it? Oh, sure. Should I play it? Because someone challenged me to a um, make a video in a day thing. And so I made that and people on the internet liked it a lot. And then they released it onto Spotify. And then um, people... Yeah. This is it, it, right? Yeah. Baby. I am a big, big baby. Although I look like a guy. I'm a big baby too, and I'm about to tell you why. Mommy was a big, big baby. Daddy was a big baby too. Big brother was an even bigger baby. Was a thirteen baby shoe. Does it have a video? Yeah. Oh, so this is just this is just the song though. Yeah. Where's the video on YouTube? Uh, no, it's on an Instagram or Twitter. Oh, okay. It's just like a minute long version. The video is. Yeah. Let's finish the song here. Who challenged you? It's easy. Rory. Uh, Rory Scoble. I'm a big, big baby. <laughs> And we were not alone. Oh, I'm a big, big baby. Goo, 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 ga, ga, ni, da, so, no. Is this all live instruments? Not the drums. That sounds like a real instrument. That's the bass. Yeah. I like this middle part here. This is great. It's very much like like a little bridge break. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to learn how to be more grooving on the bass. I'm a big, big, honky, chunky baby. Slappy to see you. I am a big, big, honky, chunky baby. Slappy to see you. Great, Wit. I love thanks. it. Thanks, pal. That's I've cool. Been, I've been trying to get into bass grooves, you know, because usually I play bass like doom, 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 whatever. So I've been watching like funk bass tutorials to try to learn like funk bass shapes and, and grooves. And so I'll like make a drum beat and then I'll just stick to the bass pedal as much as I can. Bass drum pedal. Right. Don't, 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 don't. Like that kind what's of, your what's your recording pro setup like? How do you do it? I have GarageBand with a MIDI audio box thing. USB so like thing. a like a USB interface. So you just plugged plug the bass into the uh, GarageBand and play along to the beats. That's how I've been practicing. Yeah. So real bit real stripped down setup. And yeah, and then I have like I mean you can see where I'm at, and then I have like my. Thing. The MIDI keyboard, microphone, nice. My bass, and, and you have a guitar too. And my guitar, yeah. So it's just like a you just it's pretty much a, like a modern, 
uh, garage band home, rec- home recording setup. Yeah, and I, so I recorded that song in right. a little bit of time and put it out on Twitter, and then it got all these plays and got ri- it got more my that song Big Baby got more internet press like from Time and BuzzFeed or whatever. Are you and serious? My I didn't entire see this. my entire comedy special on it. <laughs> I mean. Are you surprised, I guess? I feel like that's how everything is now. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like the smallest, the, the thing you never expected to be anything or like, I don't know. Like, well, you know, it's like the thing where it just goes against the, um, sort of like the odds of something. Or it's almost like it, it just rides whatever the current, whatever, whatever like the current thing is. Because it was, was it one of those things where it was like a challenge for a fundraiser or something like that? I don't know. Yeah. Have people been doing that where they do like, I challenge you to yeah, it was uh, that. tag you in this thing to make a, I don't know. I saw something like that. I didn't quite get it. What's funny is the two people that I tagged to do something. Um, didn't no, no. I've tagged two people. One of them didn't do it. And then right. the other one did. And then she tagged two people, but their her two people didn't do it. So that died. What they was died. it? It was called live from home. Okay. So, like, because they tagged me in it, I, I killed it in a way. Oh, because you you couldn't generate enough people to go to get into it. Yeah. But as which is kind of funny. But um. So now, I, what do you do with that? Now you now that you're a big baby. <laughs> put it on Spotify, and now if I ever get to go on tour. I had to cancel my tour, but now I can Dude, play that really song. that sucks. Yeah, I, didn't I can think play about that, that song last. <laughs> Were you planning on doing a big tour right after, uh, you know, because yeah. the special comes out, you tour after the special? Yeah, yeah. I was really excited to, to tour and to also see if people would go to see but, me. Yeah, because of the special. Yeah, but I had to cancel the tour, which is... Well, you know, when was it supposed to be? Now. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to be out. I completely forgot. I've forgotten everything I was supposed to be doing. Like I was supposed to be all gone for like three days in April or three shows in April. And then I was supposed to be like 12 shows in, in June or July. I'm supposed yeah. to go to Australia in July. Oh shit. But I think that's anything. Everything's canceled, right? Every, everything yeah. Is I mean, I had, I was supposed to do a festival at the end of August. That's that probably was, canceled. It was, it's canceled. Yeah. They've canceled Edinburgh. They canceled that about two weeks ago. Whoa. Which is kind of a big deal to cancel Edinburgh Fringe. I always wanted to go to that. Can never afford yeah. it. Me too. I that's my big plan now is to go. But <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work out now. But maybe yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's such a strange thing because right now I think about everything as being a. It's indefinitely postponed. If you think about it, if you're like an actor, a musician, or something like that, or anything like, like or aka a comedian. Yeah. Um, you won't do anything for probably till the fall maybe not even then right yeah dude it's weird to think about a group of people who have a have a zero percent employment right now yeah <laughs> like well, zero unless you're into animation yeah that's true but even then it's like uh i, I can't i can't think that that's got to be slowed down a pretty good amount right it's got to be something where they can't do it the same as they used to well i heard my buddy ben jones who works mm-hmm. in animation he was saying uh everybody's just working remotely and now he he works at an animation company and is involved in development so he's like every all these networks are canceling all their slates pretty much and asking for animation wow so i guess like all these animation companies are probably busier than ever maybe yeah i suppose all those animators that's what they wanted to do anyways is work from home yeah (laughs) all these people who like hate having to put on clothes and like everyone I know who's an animator is like not they're just like the most of all the people who don't want to do things they're the ones who want to do things the least yeah like, it's I funny Cl- be... like uh clay right the listeners is my me and johnny's friend oh, clay tatum big fa- fan of the pod friend of the pod yeah he his life he keeps joking about how his life has not changed <laughs> at, at all really I think my life hasn't, my life hasn't really changed that much actually, because I kind of feel the same way right now as how I feel after I finish working on like a big project. Cause I feel like all like, um, 
confused and terrible and like, uh, like worthless and I have to generate self-worth out of thin air. Otherwise I'll go crazy kind of yeah. thing. So it's the sort of so the same thing as being like on hold for something or, you know, it's, I don't know. To me, it's very similar to that. If you're yeah. ever a freelancer, or if you do any kind of freelance work, it's the same, same thing. Yeah. It, it's not so different. I, I don't, yeah. it's, it's weird. I don't like, I'm I mean, not mentally. Like, yeah. I don't like miss doing live shows really. I don't, I kind of I mean, don't either, which is weird to me. I'll be excited to be able to do it again. Right. But uh, I mainly miss going out and seeing movies a lot and going like to the mall or mall. going and walking around with my friends. Yeah. yeah. And like I was skating a lot with a friend of mine, but um, we would just go down to a cul-de-sac and like skate around. But uh started it rained weird. it got kind of weird it rained and then this other guy the skater guy i know who was doing like the lockdown isolated mm -hmm. thing he got corona so like i don't know how he would have gotten it oh maybe yeah. he got it from, from cardboard could be i went out rode my bike around yesterday for what 20 minutes 30 minutes i didn't have a mask on uh i should have had one on i guess you're supposed to but I wrote, I like to go check out the train tracks. I went to check out the train tracks to see what's going on. Cause I hear the trains running, you know, the train tracks are only like maybe a mile and a half from my place, from our house. And I saw a guy pissing. I rode my bike by a guy by the train station, just doing a piss. Turns out it was just a skater, some older, some middle-aged skateboarder guy out there by himself. Yeah. He was taking a piss and I got to see his pee come out of his, I didn't see his penis, but I saw the pee. I love seeing the pee. Yeah, it was pretty cool to see that arc. You know, I was like, oh, there's his piss. I can see his piss. I used to know a guy who could piss over his head. Really? Lean back and... What, he can't do it anymore? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen him in years. But... Is it Jer It sounds like a Jeremy thing. It was Jeremy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? It was his best friend. Oh, my God. It makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah. Sounds very Jeremy, yeah. Sounds like a thing where, hey, Jared, dude. <laughs> Jeremy's yeah, been push. he's been skating through downtown and man he uh posted a video of himself the other day eating a pickle out of a bag from a 7-eleven like it's no. sucking on the plastic like I, I I mean he's the kind of guy who won't get sick you know I always think yeah, of that yeah. the people like that aren't going to get sick and the people who are trying the hardest not to get sick are going to get the worst yeah I keep thinking like you know that saying only the good die young yeah it's just that. Only good die young. No, good. That's a good song, kind of. Yeah. Well, kind of. I mean, it's a it's a Billy Joel hit. Yeah. You ever heard this song before? Wait, that was the ending of a song. Oh, this is cool. True Detective, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we were down on Southern Towns. Well, tell me now, you grew up where, on, on Route 48? I grew up on Route 48, right outside of the Bay Lot Route on Raj Rouge. Well, we went on down to the Save a Lot and found somebody who could take us in. Well, they didn't have any information, but they, they had a lot to say. Let's just say three days later, his uncle went missing. We found out a way to get to him. Took the boat up to Jill's skiff, unloaded everything, and just watched it burn. Burned to the ground while enjoying a nice cold glass of Milo's sweet tea. I'll tell you what, you can serve all the tea you want, but Milo's sweet tea just is something different. Mm. There's nothing like reflecting on the mistakes you've made while sipping on some Milo's sweet tea. We thought about all kinds of stuff we'd encountered out there on the range. We've seen snakes going backwards. Saw a jackrabbit barking at a dog. All sort of bastards. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Ozark on Netflix. We are. If you haven't watched Ozark on Netflix yet, you gotta get a clue, baby. We do stuff different down here in Ozark. Mm -hmm. 
you got to watch Ozark, Wit. Yeah, you're right. If you aren't watching Ozark. Everybody's favorite <laughs> show that's green. <laughs> what do you mean it's green? <laughs> but I don't know. It's like got a green filter over the entire show. It does? It's green. I think that's your TV, man. No, dude. It's really? green. Yeah. I haven't noticed it. I guess I don't pay close enough attention. Let me turn this music down. Turn this atmosphere down. We'll get back into this bit later. This is one of my favorite bits, by the way. Do you want to hear um, a song I think you'd like a lot? I do. Uh, so I, I'm getting all the mixes back for my mom's band. Oh, yeah. Was it, it recorded on two-inch tape? Yeah. Is that what you said? Man, yeah. that's so crazy. We should, I should say real quick, people who haven't watched your special yet, who are listening to the podcast, you have to check it out. The Golden One, it's on HBO. Check it out. Mm -hmm. And so um, she has a song called Lady from Jamaica. I think I – didn't you play a little snippet of this? Yeah, I might have. Yeah. And she also – I couldn't find this. This mix was not there, but – she used to have a song where she did sang the entire song in a patois accent. Oh man, that's good. But because she lived in Jamaica, but she did. Oh wait, yeah. I think uh, you said that in the documentary, right? Yeah. Or in the, or maybe, in the oh, yeah, I yeah. Did, yeah. But I think you'll like the intro because mm -hmm. it's it's very atmospheric. Okay. Ooh, that's almost a South a South American vibe. Yeah, I think they. Two two two. Here it comes, ready? Wait for the beat to drop. It's gonna be good. Feels like something I could see. Uh, what's his name? Kurt Norris. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You can share a screen. I think you can hear the full sound if you do that. Is it on How your computer? How are you listening to it right now? Oh, it was, uh, that was on my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you have it on your computer, I think you can do that where you do, like, watch. If I were to do this with you right now, um, I'm going to do share screen. I'm going to do it with, wait a second. How do I cancel this? I can't cancel this. Shit. Um, okay, I share. I'm going to stop share. Hold on a second here. I'm gonna try to share this with you. I think I can share the YouTube. Okay. We can. I can play a song with you right now. I think. Let's see here. Okay. I'm gonna try this real quick. Ready? Um. Here we go. I think you'll like this. Do you hear it? No. Oh shit. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. I might have to edit this stuff, edit this stuff out. Uh, multiple participants can share simultaneously. Advanced sharing options. Um, okay, here we go. Share screen. Okay, share computer sound. Ready? Now this is gonna be great. Check this out. And hear it? Hell yeah! yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the truck stop. Fast and Furious filmed here nine years ago. This is Jenny. She'll get you sorted out. This is my boy, Wick. If you need anything, you just ask, all right? Three, two, one, let's do it. Got a little bit of hunky down there. Got a little bit of hunky down there. Got a little bit of hunky, hunky, hunky. Move here, L.A. downtown, Hollywood, what you want to get it downtown? Yeah, baby, I'm going to pick it up, going to got a big thing, and you know I like a truck, truck. Sweet jeans and a nice butt. <laughs> big dreams. Ooh, I like 
that. <laughs> Big dreams. A little car. <laughs> little Big cigar. Got a big dream and I've got a bag over my shoulder. <laughs> Six string of tar and a lot of love. Stand back, Hollywood. I'm about to flood. <laughs> Look out, Hollywood. I'm coming for you. Sweet baby Jean, that's my girl. Oh, that bass. You hear that? Got a vest. Wearing a t shirt. I'm a know-nothing redneck with a bad attitude ready to run you down. I'm a know-nothing redneck, I'll tell you what. This is, this is starting to kill me now. Something about these kind of songs, I love them. Yeah, I mean, you realize, like, a good riff, like a guitar riff, is actually really cool. The good yes. riff, the riff almost tells the story more than, you don't even need lyrics. The, the yeah. riff writes the lyrics. It tells you, like, the mood, essentially. It's basically just, yeah, it just tells you everything you got to know. And if you go, if you go right against away. the riff, that's either how you make a hit song or a shit song. Oh, dude, I've been watching this YouTuber called One Hit Wonderland. Mm -hmm. Todd in the Shadows is who does it. And he just gives you all this information about a one hit wonder. It's, it's pretty crazy. Like, you know, sometimes the band didn't mean to have a hit. They're just like a cool band who right. accidentally has a giant, but then sometimes these people are idiots. Oh, so they basically fuck everything up when they had a great chance because they have this, this opportunity, yeah. but they like, what's an example of that? Uh, crazy town. What's their song again? Sugar baby. I'm gonna uh, put it on Crazy I'm a, Town. I'm a butterfly or butterfly sugar baby, you know. It's Hold like, on a second. Crazy Town Butterfly, right? Okay. Yeah. Crazy Town Butterfly. Why is this doing this full screen shit? Hold on a second. I'll put it on. We'll share it again. Cool. I'm gonna share this so we can listen to it together. That's great. They do. <laughs> How do they fuck it up? Uh they, um, they, I, I think they kind of just fucked it up because they, they weren't really a very good band. Like they suck. They suck and they just kind of hit the jackpot with like one song right. by accident. Um, I, I've been really obsessed with it lately because of my success with Big Baby. <laughs> I've got like a thousand retweets. That's never happened. So I'm like, how do I recreate the success? But no, like... <laughs> How do you redo Big Baby? Yeah. You know what I, I heard actually uh, years ago? I, I remember where I was. I was, in the, it was in Rochester, Minnesota, you know, where I grew up. I was in the car. I was listening to NPR back when NPR used to be good. Yeah. And uh, uh, there was some guy talking about how all these number one songs in history, they all have this. They'll have a, yeah, uh-huh, hey, <laughs> or like a uh, something that's not a lyric that's like a thing. Like, um, yeah, yeah, or uh -huh, like something like yeah. that. How all these Beatles songs have it, Michael Jackson songs have it, all these big number one songs have a little thing in it that is like a, a guttural thing, a guttural utterance. And Maybe I always think about that. I, I, I do like that. I like it when you hear that because it makes you feel like, oh, this is a live thing. It's not just a, a song someone wrote and recorded. It feels kind of like a performance. Yeah, I've always had a, I've been a sucker for a, a, a woo in a, in a recording. Yeah. Or you, anytime you hear someone do that, or because what's his name? David, uh, David Lee Roth used to do that shit, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what you need, Wit. You just got to dial in some of that. Yeah, you're right. And I, I want to have a hit song, I think. I think I need to get in the studio. Yeah, man, just start. Plugging away. I mean, if you don't got if you don't got any ideas, just use loops. Yeah. I, what have version ever, of GarageBand are you using? I oh, use wait. a super old one. I have new GarageBand. Okay. Maybe maybe I can um find the loops here. Share computer sounds. What uh what OS are you running? Um, the newest. Catalina. Yeah, Catalina. 
Catalina. So I can share GarageBand. Yeah, you can share GarageBand. Okay, okay, okay. So get out of Make here. sure you click share computer sound. Okay, did that. This is actually working pretty damn well, I gotta say. Okay. Pretty darn. So open system preference. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, never mind. Says okay. I, have to I have to quit first. Oh, oh, funk. <laughs> oh, funk. I, I, I had some other stuff I was going to ask you about here. Let's see here. All right. Um, I think I asked you about food. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Have you had any favorite brands that have emerged in the uh, pandemic? Favorite brands? Yeah, any favorite brands emerge? Emerge. You know, they, they've emerged to you as becoming like, wow, this is, this is my favorite brand. Oh, Something um, you can take stock in. Maybe no. like Coke Zero. You've been like, oh, wow, I really am a Coke Zero guy. We already talked about Bubbies, so that's an example. I love Bubbies. Maybe I, Chelsea Handler. She's kind of a brand. Yeah, I love Chelsea. Okay. <laughs> I, you know, I, 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 uh, I've always thought of myself as like a tolerant person. Right. <laughs> but then okay. I watched that unorthodox show on Netflix. What is that? It's about orthodox uh, leaving the orthodox Jewish Relig of, the church, religion, the church, church. Yeah. How they, and I always find when I watch anything about like organized religion, mm -hmm. how I have no tolerance. <laughs> I'm always like, what? get rid of it. What yeah. But then, <laughs> so like. I really quickly realize how I'm not tolerant. I am, but I'm not. Yeah. There's a lot of Jewish people who are very intolerant and critical of Orthodox Jews. Well, yeah, Orthodox Jews is kind of, I, I did a lot of, read a lot about it. And I guess it's kind of the same deal as like Mormonism, just kind of yeah. pretty, pretty made up. Right. Also, this, the, the vast majority of Mormons are pretty boringly normal. Right. And they're not uh, these, the fundamentalists. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so my favorite brands, I don't know. I haven't really been watching a lot of TV. I've been playing music and trying to watch like movies, like good mm -hmm. movies. But uh, I don't know. I drink seven cups of coffee a day. Oh, damn. Yeah. That's not good for you. I know, but I'm But if cold. it feels good, I guess it's okay. I'm cold. What do you mean you're cold? I'm just cold all the time. I don't know why. So I want to drink coffee or take a shower. Take hot shower, hot coffee. Did you ever do hot coffee in the hot shower? No. I've been doing hot tea in the shower. Oh. Because I'm more of a tea guy because I find coffee uh, spikes me too hard and dehydrates me. Yeah, yeah. So I've been kind of, you know, I've been making espresso with that little pot. Because espresso yeah. I can do. I can do espresso because it's, it's different. Yeah. Uh, I've been drinking like seven of these bad, bad boy bubbies a day. Of water. Yeah. Nice. Is it just you and your roommate? Uh, and Mitra. My so is she with you? She's, uh, yeah. That's good. So you have like a, a good core group of people. Yeah. And uh, my roommate's sister. So my, my landlord, I live in a duplex. Right. He went, he went out of town. So, and he said we can use his. Uh, oh, so do you use it? So we have like this whole four bedroom house. Almost like couple. an annex. You have an annex. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. So that's nice actually. Yeah, it's great. So you have some space. You can like, you can range out a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. What about you? You've discovered any brands that you love? That you um, actually, uh, I kind of feel like I have, well, it's just very much coincidental, but we did devour an entire jar of Bubby's bread and butter pickles within about a day. Oh, when we mm. first got them. So you're a Bubby's um, boy? Bu Bubby's, Coors Light. I've been kind of doing some Coors Light. I got about, I got two cases of Coors Light, but I haven't drank much of it. Um, I found that I've been enjoying uh, wearing shoes indoors. Yeah, I've been doing that too. And wearing like pants, not sweatpants. Yeah, same. Because um, I just, something about wearing sweatpants makes me just feel like I, I want to die. <laughs> yeah, I, I get like fully ready every morning. Really? Mm -hmm. I started, I get fully ready sometimes. Like if I work out, obviously I'm wearing the, my workout clothes, but then it's like after a shower, I'm fully ready. Yeah. Um, I've noticed those are some good brands. I've felt like I've, I've found some kinship with, 
Otherwise, it's been a lot of um, a Swiss cheese. If Swiss cheese is a brand, yeah. tortillas. Um, yeah. That was yogurt. A, yogurt. What kind of yogurt are you doing? Chobani. Chobani. Okay. You do that. That's a Greek yogurt. Delicious. How are you getting it? Well, I got it at the grocery store a couple of weeks ago. Right. Got eight of them. <laughs> so you're just doing one a day? Yeah. One a day. See, Sometimes I have too. trouble. I want to just devour all the shit I have. Oh, yeah. I got to have self-control. I still haven't even eaten any of the cans of tuna yet. Those are for like hard times though, right? Yeah, that's for if we like really go on like if a real really... lockdown. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I think California, I as usual, will be no problem, bro. Cal- we got all this chill. space. I think we were ahead of the game a little bit. Yeah. Too. My boy Newsom, man. I think he should be the next prez. Yeah, my boy Noose. Get Newsom in there. I got a COVID haircut. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it looks cool. It's kind of weird. I don't, it's, uh, it's, it hasn't grown. It's very fresh. It's not quite, it made me realize how much a barber is actually talented. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you can't cut your own hair. Well, Britt cut it, but even then, Britt's not a, she's not yep. a uh, hair cutter. Buddy was a, uh... Our, our friend buddy was going to shave yeah. his head the other day but yesterday but uh, and he said he looked at himself in the mirror with the razor shaved it bald you know for yeah. an hour and he decided not to and so well he looked at himself in the mirror for an hour yeah trying to figure out if he should do it like with his oh. with his electric razor. yeah and he decided not to mm-hmm. it's probably a good idea you can always i would say just to get himself a buzz cut and then yeah. A buzz cut and then do it. Mm. Now's the time to do something crazy to your hair, though. I know. I think I might go a little crazier than this. This actually isn't that crazy. It just needs, I don't know. I might be, I'll just go even shorter or something like that. What about uh, like a full on flat top? That's hard because that implies, I think that actually takes skill in the cut and you have to have product. I don't like using product. Yeah. I have, I have product. Do you have product? I do, but my hair is too long to be doing that. Do you remember when you learned that it was called product and not some product or no yeah. product? I have no product. <laughs> remember how when the first time you heard someone say, put some product and not yeah. saying like, I don't know, something put about that to me, the, in your hair. the way yeah, the word is used. I still don't really like it. You don't I like also, product? I hate it when people say um, pant. Pant? What's that? Yeah, that's a really great pant. You need to get the... Who um, the fuck says that? I don't know, man. I, when I used to work in retail, people were saying that. That's a great pant. Like, not, that's a great pair of pants. Yeah, yeah. Those are nice it's a pants. really well-fitting pant. Ooh, I don't like it. Mm-mm. I tell you what I do like is this. Ready? Yeah. It's kind of got that Queens of the Stone Age vibe, baby desert have you thought about maybe doing a desert sessions this summer oh yeah i thought about it dude i'm trying to record a whole album are you right now this song kind of sucks actually you got uh, what's the how long how many songs on the album maybe not an album i want to do five songs so an ep five new songs an ep is it going to be a you yeah, just me and my laptop. No, no real good production. Like the production of that Big Baby song. Right. Which I think is pretty damn good, actually. It's modern production. Thanks. What's it going to be? Is it going to be a theme or anything or what? I think it's going to be throwaway songs that uh, don't like fit in any... Genre. Yeah, yeah. And I don't really imagine them ever like building off of a joke like in stand-up. I support this a lot. <clears throat> Yeah, I've re- I've written a couple songs in the last couple of days, but I haven't stuck to my guns to develop them into real songs, which is pretty much that's my biggest biggest issue. Maybe I'll overcome that in quarantine. Yeah, get overcome it and get into yeah. a recording technology. Because like yeah. you you would like. Yeah, I have recorded a couple songs, and I do like what I've done. But it's one of those things where um, I get so hung up on uh, digital instruments that sometimes I. I tend to like, you know, I back off when I should just like bite the bullet and read a forum. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I get that. 
No, I, it's worth it. It's worth it to figure all that stuff out. Yeah, for real. I, I started to learn how to do it a, a couple of years. I didn't even have a MIDI keyboard until like a year ago. Really? I was recording all my piano parts mm -hmm. just with a keyboard, like a Casio keyboard okay. plugged into my computer. Nice. But that probably has a nice sound though. It has a unique tone. It did, but you know, you can get off time and there's no fixing it. It was just yeah. like ar it really archaic. It's a lot of pressure on their performance too, as opposed to the comp composition. Yeah. Yeah, I do have a little uh, USB keyboard Duncan lent me. So. Duncan's new cartoon looks awesome. It's going to be crazy, man. It's how is it right now with the special? Cause it's like, it must be interesting that everyone's, it's everyone's captive so you can promote it a lot and people get to see it. Yeah, I think uh, it's, uh, I did all, I think it's like over. Okay. As far as like the hype of it. Right. Like, and the way that I know that is because I would post about it maybe once a week. Mm -hmm. And then I posted this thing the other day about it and nobody really cared or, or whatever. So I think like, okay. And I think the people who are going to see it have probably seen it. What I'm curious about, I guess, is that right now with things that are coming out that are new, are, will they get, will they get um, sort of bowled over by all the press coverage with, uh, the disease and the, and the virus or, you know what I mean? Cause I, I want, I worry about that with something that it, like the things that come out now that they'll just be, even though I it's a great thinking time. The opposite. I was well, thinking, I like, was thinking both things. Like, is it that, or is it, you know, is it, there's a captive audience of something that comes out now will be watched like crazy or will it be, it'll right. kind of get lost because people are worried about their lives and not about entertainment. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I hope that's not the case. Same. Do you think Tiger King would have uh, been as popular if it was not during a pandemic? I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I mean, those characters in that, that documentary are just so interesting that it's kind of hard not to. Yeah. I mean, that, that documentary seems like kids in college made it, I think. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not like a great documentary. It's just those characters are, you could have like, you could film with a fucking flip cam and it'd be the greatest thing ever. Yeah. So, yeah. Who knows, man? I think it's going to be weird come summer because right now it's still kind of novel. Everything is starting to be less novel to me. At least it's starting to be kind of like, uh, this is not the snow day that it was two weeks ago, you know? Dude. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, first week of quarantine for me was great. I yeah, me was too. playing music and mm -hmm. sleeping a little later and chilling out. Now what? We're over a month in. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to be doing this for a couple more months, right? A couple more months, probably. I don't know. I mean, there's different. There's, there's a lot of different opinions out there, and it's, you can't really know who's who's correct. But right. At least I'm probably not going to be having any real work until September. Or that. Right. You know, what I mean, so I like to think about it like that. If I'm not going to be doing any work whatsoever until September. That's basically quarantine. Right. In terms of like how, I, what I have to do, like time I have and stuff like that. But it also poses like a weird sort of, to me, like a, not like an existential thing, but like a thing where you have so much time. What if you waste it? <laughs> you know, it yeah. like puts pressure on, I have like pressure, like, Oh, you have all this time. You have to, what, what did you build when quarantine? Did you build a boat from, right. from scraps of wood? My like brother, this guy did. Look at this guy. He built a boat from scraps of wood. My brother's going back to Alabama. With the bus? Yeah, with the school bus. He's going to go. We, so um, my grandfather has like a giant piece of land. Uh-huh. That in, um, in Alabama. In Alabama. And so Johnny is just going to go in it, uh, set up electricity and like figure out a road. That's cool. Situation. He's like taking it kind of doing all that they might stay forever that's actually a great time to do that kind of thing yeah because it doesn't affect them no matter what like mm -hmm. oh there's a quarantine it doesn't matter like he's kind of off the grid already right yeah yeah that's what i was doing the first few weeks with my garden i was like i have to make enough food to eat i was thinking this is going to be a year and a half two years i'm gonna have to grow enough food and now it feels like maybe that's not the case so but uh i definitely you know i've got a lot of soil out there ready to be used 
Oh, yeah, I got a plant in my room. That's about all I got. I got a lot of plants in the living room. Nice. I've seen them. They look good. Thanks, man. Uh, do you think your dog knows that it's uh, about Corona? Uh, I don't think she knows that it's about Corona, but she's loving life right now. We're always around. I took her on like an epically long walk the other day. We got to walk in the middle of the street with no, there's not a single car. I didn't see one car yeah. for like five minutes. Um, Dude, so like yeah. a week into lockdown, I went down to York. Right. Where all the restaurants are. And there was teenage, like college kids from Occidental just like packed full inside a. Fuck yeah, of course. It's, it's hilarious. I'm not surprised by any of that shit. I think now would be a good time for us to shoot a, some sort of a video. Like, yeah. you know, we do it safe, but we do it where it's like middle of the night, someplace where, someplace that would typically not be empty that's going to be totally empty. Like everything's, every parking lot's empty, train tracks are empty, streets are empty. I don't know. Yeah. It's probably something else that'd be really cool that you wouldn't get caught. Normally you would get caught fooling around someplace, but I bet you wouldn't get caught now. Oh, yeah. Like, you can skate anywhere right now. Right. That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, have you been skating in cool spots? I haven't, but Jer my friend Jeremy has. But Jer. Well, you can't stop it, Jer. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, the best part about Jeremy is that yeah. he was in Korea in February. <laughs> With Eunice? <laughs> yeah, yeah. God. That's, I mean, in Korea, in February, huh? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Dang, dang. Yeah, man. Um, I want to talk, ask you a few things about the special, then we'll, then we'll wrap it up. Cool. I loved it. Thanks, pal. I think everyone's got to see it. It's so, uh, I mean, it's kind of, I feel like it's a hybrid. It's like something I've never seen before. Does anyone, is that, has anyone said anything about that? Or is like, was the idea when you made it that it was going to be such a, like, unique a form of media? Because it's kind of, it's so many things, you know? Uh, I don't know. I think me and Clay were trying to make something really, um, we just kept thinking of it as being like weird. Right. And we kept kind of going like, okay, well, we have like an hour and 20 minutes of stand up. Of right. Me at the show, because that's about how long that I was doing. So no matter what, we can always use that. Yeah. That's like what they bought, what HBO wanted. And right. then they wanted some documentary elements. But like, we weren't trying to make anything different, like super different than. Mm -hmm. We just kept thinking of Pur Purple Onion, the Galifianakis special. Yeah, and it's we like used to have more shit like that in there, where, where it's like me and Clay go fishing, or me and Clay try to get me. Um, oh shit! Oil, uh, say that one more time. Like that, we got we went all garbly. For... A lot of that for time. Wait, say that one more time. What oh, you yeah. cut? So, Originally, we had a lot more like bits in it right. like, that weren't stand up. It was like me and Clay try to go fishing, but we don't right. know how to do anything. And then, or we try to get on local radio, but stuff like that. But we ended up having to cut a lot of that shit. But everything that's not stand up is very real. It's all like real interviews with real people about real things. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's that part's like a it's like an actual documentary. Yeah, I, you know, it's like. I don't know what our, our plan. Oh, Hold on one second. Okay. I gotta make sure the dog doesn't kill these guys. Okay. Hey, is the dog locked up? Very open and very Gotta make sure the dog doesn't kill the gardeners. Oh. That's what I can't stand right now is, is people are still gardening or gardening. Gardening in quotes. It's not actually right. gardening. It's uh, trimming grass. Trimming grass, moving shit around. But um, yeah. Yeah. So the, the documentary element of it, yeah, it's very much like, you know, it's so, so grounded and interesting because it's, it's almost like a, it's like a detective story, too. I guess so. You no. Know? Yeah, I mean, dude, there's like a bunch. There was a long. Originally, we had a our first edit of it was like almost two hours long, and mm -hmm. all, a lot of like the questions were answered more 
clearly and shit like that. But we found the more that we like answered these questions without giving, letting there be some privacy or whatever about certain things with my family. Right. If, if you go like, you know, like my mom, my mom's first husband was a drug smuggler from Jamaica. Like they would go back and forth. But so like we cut out all that shit because it's hard to follow that story with yeah, it's, stand it's up too, comedy. It's too like a, it's, a, it's like a different story. Yeah, uh, that so, makes sense. Yeah. So it was, you know, I don't know. There's that, and then as far mm-hmm. as like the the way it looks and shit like that, that me and Clay just like stuff to look a little, uh, you know, different. Like, yeah. we knew that. I knew as soon as I we decided to shoot it at the floor Bama, I was like, all right, I'm gonna be badly lit. And right. I'm gonna It's a weird we don't, space. it's pointless to even have cameras on tripods because there's no polish inside of that space at all. So it wouldn't make sense. And so we just like Yeah, I guess we just were trying to be as creative as we could. Mm-hmm. But like I didn't know. It's funny to see what people say about it because you know, for the last seven or eight months or bef- however long it was edited before it came out, I was like, I don't know, what have I done? Really? really what was your, tell me what was your, like, main thought in that? Like, you mean, like, you didn't like it or you felt like it was, like, too emotional or so, what was it? I thought, like, the songs aren't very funny and mm-hmm. we had to cut out so much of my stand-up and it's like, oh, God, what did I do? It's too emo. Yeah, it's too emotional. It's too strange there's an opening title sequence. It's like, what are we fucking like? Um, I, and then I kept thinking like, we, sh- we shot it in Alabama and it's like some of the jokes don't land. Why didn't I do it in LA or New York where I could be killing? Do you mean like the stand up portion? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I kept thinking like ego wise, I was like, this is a blow to my ego. And then, but now I think of it like a, you know, a movie. I'm like, okay, but it's okay because it's about a person struggling and not yeah. connecting. And yeah, it's really unique. And I think everyone should see it for that reason. Thanks, Johnny. It's a, it's a cool place to be now, I guess. Right. Cause now it's like, kind of like, um, I don't know. It, Cause it's when you make your first thing, big thing like that, then it's sort of what's the, uh, have you thought, I've thought about something that would follow next that would have anything to do with that? You know what I mean? Like, is there something? Oh yeah. Like a I, like a part two almost maybe. Not. I thought of a, a narrative version of it where it's right. just about a guy who goes home and plays music with his dead mom's old band, but they're all like these 60, 70 year old Southerners who like are party animal right. psychopaths. That would be fun. I would like yeah. that movie. I'd like, watch it. Thanks, pal. Like, did you ever? Uh, I just think like. You never see elderly people getting to be funny on purpose. Yeah, a lot of times it's like, oh, grandma, unless it's like, hip, hop, the rapping grandma. I like, all right. I'm like, oh, it's that. That's all yeah, it ever yeah. is. Yeah. So that's what I kind of want to do. But, and then me and Clay have other bullshit we want to make. Right. But it's hard. It's like comedy specials are mostly like, bad. It's they're mostly bad, and it's hard yeah. to come come up with like how to do a good one. Yeah, it's almost impossible, actually. I think it's more like a thing where, um, I don't know. I think some people do it because they are very normal stand-ups, and they do so much stand-up that they're basically just recording a really good show. Yeah. And sometimes it works because it's a thing that's not really a stand-up special so much as like some sort of a like a a really convoluted form of a documentary telling one story i mean i think like gary goldman's one is like that you know where it's basically just it's basically just one story right you know i don't know but yeah it doesn't it doesn't it's a weird it's not like a normal a normal form of media at all it's a weird form of media yeah i think like the reason the the purple zach alfanakis purple onion one is so good is because you can tell he doesn't actually really care about the yeah you can tell he really what a stand-up special is supposed to be. He's just kind of having, let's have, be funny in a, Mm -hmm. for an hour. Yeah. Truly does not care, which is like one of the hardest things in the world to do. Yeah. Is to not care about the thing that you're supposed to care the most about. Yeah. But still do it enough to 
like you're doing it, but you're not like you're caring enough to do it, but not enough to, to destroy it with like to squeeze it to death. Yeah. I've heard that about Larry David too. He has some philosophy that's similar to that where he like almost everything he does, he does it begrudgingly. Yeah. It's like, well, I guess we'll do this stupid show. Well, he doesn't want to do the show, but he's going to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but he's just got that gift. Right. Some yeah. people can do it. Some people can do that. Right. It's having huge balls. Yeah, having those big old slappers. That sounded like a soundboard just now. Huge balls. Huge, 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 ball. huge, huge balls. Huge balls. Go. Go. I got big old balls, Danny. Uh, I, I got I got I got big old balls, Danny. <laughs> that's crazy. That's from our soundboard. Um, that's Mike in the <laughs> other studio. I got big old balls, Danny. <laughs> I got big old balls, Danny. It's a little loud. A little loud, Mike. Wit. Yeah. You want to play any, play a song to end everything? Should I play yeah. a song for you? Yeah, play it. What should I, what should I, okay. I don't know if I have anything good queued up at this point. Um, uh, I've been listening to this one um, so, song from, uh, have you ever heard David Allen Coe? <laughs> no. Yeah, you have. Who? David Allen Coe? No. The country singer from like the 70s. What's he look like? I don't know. He looks like he's got long hair. I mean, he's famous. He's famous for being like a like kind of a raunchy redneck guy. He kind of got in a lot of trouble, I think, for making a bunch of racist party records back in the eighties. Oh, maybe I've heard of him. Yeah. But his his normal music is like this song. Cover up my redness. I've won every fight I've ever had. For. <laughs> but I don't need some turkey till I need wow. country. I can't stand it. I, I love it. I'm looking at pictures of this guy and his crazy hair. Dude, he's a fucking lunatic. He's like a, he's one of those people who I think has pissed off everyone at some point in time. Like he pissed off the Nashville establishment to the point where they almost like ran him out of town. He's like got like enemies everywhere. <laughs> like he's anti-war, but he's like hates hippies, but he also hates rednecks. He, he's, he's just like a fucking, I think he's probably a, you know, some kind of, some kind of psycho for real. Yeah. But he's also like a genius songwriter. Man. I think John Prine co-wrote that song or something like that. I love John Prine's new record. I haven't heard it yet. He's cool. Did you I know find stuff to be? What were you? Gonna I was gonna say yeah. I find some of the stuff to be a little bit too sad for me. I like that kind of stuff. Really? See, I, I, I can't handle it sometimes. I find it to be too. What were you gonna say? Did I know what? Did you know that Johnny Cash is only seventy-two when he died? Johnny Cash? Yeah. Um, I guess I didn't know that. No, it seems about right though. He's so young. He Johnny looks Cash? So old. <laughs> Johnny Cash or John Prime? Johnny Cash. Yeah, but I mean, he lived really hard, right? Yeah, yeah. John Prime was not that much older, was he? Yeah, but he got the virus. Yeah, he got the virus, but you saw him before the virus. He looked like he was like this all the time. He was always like, yeah, like a potato head. Like, I'm trying to feel good to go home, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, just hanging in there. He definitely seemed like somebody who would need help getting out of the bathtub. And then make a joke about it, like, I oh, don't be looking at my deli there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, get a good look while you can. Yeah. <laughs> get, a good look while, get a good look while it's wet. It's why is it getting wet? It's not going to get any bigger than that. Take a picture. <laughs> 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 what did you guys do? Oh, we just made fun of this dead, this recently deceased country singer, beloved 
country yeah. singer songwriter. I think that's but, a great tribute, though. But yeah, I think he would laugh. Oh, I think he would. Any, oh, oh, I think so. Yeah. <sighs> any funny parting words? Anything we should sew this up with to make it good? Oh no! I, gotta I say think, this. What it does suck compared to how it normally? You know, what I mean, I don't like having to do this. No, yeah. It really is like a a real compromise. Yeah, it's good to do this in real life. Podcasting over Zoom is uh, not ideal. Even though you're recording your audio, I'm recording mine. We're not going to use the Zoom audio if possible. It'll sound good, but just the whole like, yeah, it's just, it makes me realize we're not in the future. No. We kind of like pretend future. Yeah. Although I probably am going to watch Total Recall today. Ooh, good. Hey, uh, maybe we'll finish with this. You're such a, you're a big, you're a film guy. Yeah, yeah. What are five movies you've watched recently that you feel like, I'm really glad I watched those movies? Oh, okay. Hmm. What are they? Point Break. It's called Point Break. Let me put a little music underneath this so it's got like a feel to it, okay? Okay. Um, Hold on a second. I'm just going to, I'm going to make sure to edit this little part out here. Um. Okay, I think I got something good for you here. Ready? Okay. I'm ready, Wit. Okay, I watched Point Break. I think Point that you break. have got to see Point Break because it's ridiculous that it is a good movie. But it is a good movie. But it's not, because it's preposterous, the ideas in it? Yeah, nothing really makes any sense in it. Got it, okay, Point Break. Uh, I watched um, Raising Arizona. I showed it to my girlfriend. Jesus Christ, that's one of the best movies ever made. And she loved it. Uh, uh, so you got to watch Raising Arizona. One of the best compliments I've ever had in my entire life is someone compared me to, so it reminded me of him and uh, Nick Cage in Raising Arizona. I was oh, like, that's oh, cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a great role. What a great role. Yes, a great role. Great role. I watched Mikey and Nikki. Mikey and Nikki, never heard of it. What is it? It's an Elaine May movie starring Peter Falk and John Cassavetes. So you got to see it. I love- simply gotta watch it love the acting of john cassavetes yeah i okay. watched uh, yeah. what else oh i watched harry potter one and two harry potter one and two great never film. seen them never seen them right uh, how did you watch them why how did you watch them on uh viewboo uh, uh no <laughs> itunes itunes got it or apple tv whatever it's called i watched uh I watched Color Wheel by Alex Ross Perry. I love that movie. Ooh, I've heard of that. Okay. Gotta watch it. I watched... Um, that is five, actually, so... Oh, okay. If you got one more, go ahead. No, one more, I don't have ahead. any more. Oh, I watched Heartbreakers. Susan Sarandon, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Great movie. Got it. Have you seen Sexy Beast? Oh, I love Sexy Beast. I just watched it for the first time recently, and I can't believe how good it is. It's a perfect movie. It's my favorite one it, of his movies. It is a perfect movie. Yeah. La Femme Parfait. Yeah. Whitmer Thomas, thank you for being here. Even Thanks though you're not here. It was Thanks fun, it's fun catching up, you know, seeing what's going on. Spread the word and stay clean from the virus. Don't stay too clean, okay? You too, Johnny P. Thanks, Johnny P. Bye, Whit. Bye. See you, pal. I'm going to end the meeting now. All right, see ya. Bye.